What's up guys, Six Pinks here back with the video and we are here showing off more of the $30,000 unit, 8,000, 9,000, everything we've spent. We've spent like 50,000. On top of that, we're announcing that we're selling it all within the next month on whatnot. Check it out, link's gonna be in the bio. And let's get into it guys. We still have our warehouse full of boxes from this lady. So we're just gonna show off a couple things. I'm try and show it off a bit more. Bristol Waterford choice of Toasting flute. I don't know. She paid 135 bucks for it. It looks like though. Wow, this looks like it's gonna be a mess to take out. I don't even want to do it, guys. Okay, so we can just see on the side. True love flute. So it's like these glasses, these fancy glasses. But she paid 135 bucks retail for them. So I don't, I don't know what we can get for them. All right. Mediterranean Journey, six piece collection of sulfur, sultry color essentials. So that goes together, that's why they're together, of course. But we find a bunch of these different sets of Laura Geller, Josie Moran, philosophy, different like makeup sets. Emily Compote Waterford Cup. Just a display, not a cup. <laughs> that would be crazy if that was a cup. What the heck is this? Whoa, it just cleans toilets and urinals. It's like a very fancy toilet slash urinal cleaner. She has a bunch of shoes, dance go, fly London, things like that. Some random ones. I think like Donald something. Never even heard of that brand before, but she does have like Uggs. She has a lot of different shoes she was buying. All right, I'm gonna guess these ones are about like 30 bucks or so. These ones are kind of cheaper than new bucks. I could be wrong though, just because they're brand new. I think I would list those for about 50 to 60, but realistically it would sell at like 30 to 40. And a bunch of these ones, we have a lot of Fly London shoes. I've never even heard of Fly London until we found these. <laughs> Apparently they are a nicer brand. They'd be going for like an average of a hundred, like eighty bucks or so. But I think that one's gonna, that one looks a bit cheaper in my eyes. So I think we list this one for about fifty bucks, give or take. These are just estimates, guys. It's some more Fly London shoes. These ones are probably about sixty bucks as well. But I think the hundred dollar ones are the clogs. Clogs are more expensive. Strap shoes, the strappies. I don't even really know what these shoes are all called. The Moose Rose, Rose Colored Shoes. You can probably list this one at about 60 bucks. But as I've said recently in a couple of my videos, we might be doing everything on whatnot. Everything, a dollar starting bid, just everything gone. More Fly London, London's of the flies. Let's try and get into something after this one. <laughs> There's a lot of Fly London guys, I'm sorry. Pretty much just like the last one, I swear. This is like the same thing, but just just black. It's a yellow rose that she paid 85 bucks for. I think this is one of these glass roses. I don't remember, I think I've seen a couple of these. All right, I thought so. Okay, it's just some yellow glass rose. She paid 85 bucks for it, not bad. I'm gonna tell you right now, nephew, those are a great seller. We'll sell for about like 100 bucks, probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sporto, Sporto shoes. Yeah, these, I've never seen a Sporto shoe before. These are definitely cheaper, 100%. I mean, they don't look like bad quality shoes, but I mean, who's ever heard of Sporto shoes? I'm gonna just assume that these are about like 20 bucks a piece. But again, we probably will be putting these on our whatnot. Dollar starting bid. Look at this, yellow Tupperware bowl, lock and lock. We get some of this every now and then as well. And we just don't like seeing it. It's probably not too bad, but it's not it's not thousand dollars. So we just we get annoyed seeing it. Alright, what's in here? This box is a little bit heavier. Is this full of sheets? I've never seen this. Reversible cotton slash poly blend easy care. She paid about like 10 bucks a piece on these. It looked like 12 bucks. It's different. It's definitely different. Earth shoes. I know these earth shoes are pretty low quality as well. I mean, they're nice looking. Look, it's a nice little booty, nice little boot. But again, it's low quality shoes. So 
I didn't think I saw any sold comps above for like 30 or 40 bucks, honestly. A cure rig. This one's kind of open, unfortunately. It's not brand, brand new like the other ones you find. The ones you find normally, they're like all the way brand new. It's nothing. It's not open like this. They actually have some of the coffee flavors on top. So I don't know if we're getting as much as we normally do, but like at least 70 to 80 bucks on this one, right? The Ashton Drake Galleries. Let's open it. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's like sealed in there. I love Lucy, be a pal doll. This guy has like certificate. I mean, I can't even see the doll. That's how like secure they are with it. They bubble wrap everything. All right, this second one, I mean, it's probably the same thing, but I got to open it. Even though it's in this seal still, we got to. Woo! I mean, you can almost see it. You can almost see her in there. She's got, like a little pink dress on. I think she's got like a little pink, some sort of pink hat. That's pretty dope, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at there. What is I Love Lucy? I Love Lucy job switching doll. Okay, this is this doll likes to switch jobs a lot. Another I Love Lucy doll in here. I Love Lucy. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. Is this Lucy herself or who are these people? They're all always wrapped up like this. I guess it's a good thing. All right, just some normal running shoes. Some women's running shoes. I know Vionic's not a good brand either. It's not a bad one, I guess. I mean, nope, I guess I can't say any brand's bad, but that's probably relatively cheap. I'd say we're probably gonna get 20 bucks for this. Brushed bronze. I have no idea what's in here. Let's find out. Battery operated window candle. Okay, that is kind of fancy. Let's see if I can get into anything else cooler than just that pile, because like I said, I'm trying to just show the $30,000 unit, but at the same time, the units all have the same things and they're all kind of moved around at this point. Once it got into the warehouse, we had a hard time kind of just organizing it. We have some more doonies over here. I've showed you guys, it's been dwindling down each video. We have less doonies over here than last video. Over here, we have some more doonies. Like I said, we're gonna be doing it on whatnot. That is included, all these doonies for a dollar starting bid. These are a lot of money, I think he said in retail value, we have about $75,000 in Dooney and Burke purses, and we're gonna be starting them all at a dollar, so stay tuned for that, guys. It's gonna be very scary on our end. We're calling it $300,000 in 30 days, guys. That's what the whole whatnot thing is pretty much called. It might be a little bit more than 300,000, but roughly $300,000 is gonna be sold in 30 days on whatnot, and everything's gonna be starting at a dollar. Peter Thomas Roth collection. All right, this box is already a little bit open. It's not sealed like the others. Peter Thomas Roth peel gel, peeling gel. What does it help your skin from stop peeling or something? Okay, it does have the Peter Thomas Roth set in here. I think we've on, we sell this on whatnot already, I wanna say. Nice little makeup set. Uh, Mark Fisher, these look like they're gonna be a high, like a high quality brand, but it's really not a high quality brand. I thought it was, like just, I don't know what it makes look like it. They're brand new, untouched, right? But when you look these up, I don't think they go much higher than 60 to 80 bucks, I would say. I'm, I could be wrong, you guys let me know. But these will be sold for a dollar on whatnot. A lot of our shoe sizes is size eight and a half, nine, and it's maybe 10, but it's about eight to nine. So if you guys are size eight and nine in women's, Josie Moran Argan Oil Descent Body Collection. This looks like a pretty nice set. I know we sell like some of these Josie Morans for like 20 or 30 bucks. So, so I mean like for this whole set, that looks like it might be kind of pricey. If this is another pair of shoes, I'm in the video here. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll we'll open a couple more boxes, but I'll hopefully get something else than shoes. I can just, I can pretty much tell this is a shoe. Yep. Some Allegra's. But I keep standing cheap just because they're online. I just don't really see too many sold comps of them being too high. But I mean, it's not a bad shoe. There's like six more of those I Love Lucy dolls right here, all like sealed in the box and stuff. Some good money just, just chilling right there. And this whole pile, you can just see, it's like shoes on shoes on shoes on shoes with some Waterford spread in between. But I mean, like, do I really want to go through all those shoes? I guess I haven't really showed that many purses in depth though, so let's show a couple of the uh, smaller ones. Look at that. See how small that is? What can even fit in here? 
She was charged 180, 78 bucks though to buy that. This one's a slightly bigger purse. 188 bucks just found this. Just a nice pink purse. The ones that get more expensive are the ones that have like decorations and stuff for that. And of course, bigger bags. Dang, wait, never mind. Look, this one's 158 bucks. It's a bigger one with some decorations on there. 150 bucks for a purse is still a lot. Maybe it's not. You guys, you women, let me know how much you guys are spending on purses. 248 bucks on this Dooney and Burke. It's pretty dope. It's got a bunch of D's and D's, some flowers around it. A purse like that, that one's almost, that's 250 bucks price tag. $248 price tag like this one. And guess what? This is gonna be sold for a dollar starting bid on whatnot. Check them out. I think we already have all the shows or a lot of them planned. You can bookmark them right now. I like this color. I don't know why. It's probably my favorite color. All of these stuff are listed on these shelves over here. This is our eBay pile. Jim Shore. Jim Shore is a pretty nice brand. We have a couple of these at our house, actually. A couple of these, like Disney figures. Some red bottoms. Look at this. You have a lone pair of red bottoms. I don't think anyone's even listed these. They're just chilling. Probably should get these ones up. Because look at these. Woo. Oh, boy. Holy crap, look at these shoes, guys. I mean, personally, I mean, I don't I don't see anything fancy about these, but they're red bottoms, right? And we already know red bottoms are super expensive. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I mean, if you're watching this right now, I'm assuming you watched the whole video, so put a heart in the comments and peace out.